Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all who are joining me back. Today I'm actually going to be talking about a few foundations from the new CoverGirl line. Um, but first, I do want to make sure that you guys are actually subscribing to my channel. So please take this time out and give me um, a good old subscribe going to hit that button so you guys can join the Miss Creator Diva family. Yeah, so you guys know I want to discuss one of the foundations from CoverGirl. Um, this is the um, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Now, I am in the color D40. This is supposed to be a 12-hour matte foundation. Now, I'm not going to test the wear out of it because it's late as hell here. And it's about bedtime. So, I will not be doing that, unfortunately. Now, I will say I cheated. I cheated a tad bit. Um, I did add my NARS foundation on my forehead only because that's my problematic problem area. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I have talked enough. And thank you all. Come on, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. Now, I did put a couple of more pumps on here because I see that in order to get the coverage that I'm looking for, I'm definitely going to have to put a little off in it. Right off the bat, honestly, I will say you guys know that I'm a full coverage person. And this is not giving me the full coverage that I am wanting. I'm not really sure why it's not. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish applying the foundation and see what I think about it all together. Okay, you guys, so this is the, this is the foundation, like, I honestly am not thrilled with this foundation and how it looks. Um, just right off the bat to me, it's very, very wet, uh, which is weird because it is a matte foundation. Now, on my forehead, I did use, um, my NARS, um, and so I did that because my skin is very sensitive and because of the summer, I don't want to put new products on my forehead area since that is my target breakout area. Um, so I still stuck with using what I normally use. Ignore the glue that's in the edges. Um, but basically on my face, I'm going to try just one more layer just to see if it's just me um, and to see if I just don't like the consistency. It could definitely be me. See. Yeah, and I believe this foundation is a medium coverage foundation. You could build it up. I'm just not getting this thing on what I want out of it. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see.
I don't know you guys right off the bat I will say that for someone that if you are like me you will definitely have to use a lot of um, foundation like I've done probably like six or seven pumps already right off the bat um, so if you are someone that wants a lot of coverage this may not be the foundation for you um, depending on your preference um, now as you can see it's building up you know uh, once you continue to buff the foundation in um, and I'm noticing now that I'm doing this type of technique with pushing the foundation in instead of moving the foundation around it's definitely giving me more um, coverage see for instance I'll take this right here this spot so definitely I'm thinking maybe a beauty blender would work a lot better um, see you can definitely see that it is in the technique of how you apply the foundation um, this just takes a lot more work than what I would like to do um, just to get that consistency and coverage so let me know what you guys think I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this foundation Alright you guys, so as you can see, I'm just going in with the foundation cover girl and just buffing it into my skin. Now I did notice as I shared prior that when applying this foundation, um, it wasn't giving me the coverage that I wanted. Now I believe this is a medium to full coverage foundation. Um, you can definitely build it up to full coverage. And honestly, I will say it could definitely be the brush as to why I didn't like it. So what I'm going to do is actually do a second video just to kind of see if that's the case. Because um, I feel like the brush that I was using, it may have been sucking up the product um, instead of applying it, you know, and building and giving me that coverage that I was looking for. So I'm going to give the foundation a benefit of the doubt. Um, right here I'm actually taking my Derma Blend cover cream I'm just applying it underneath the eyes and then I'm just gonna buff that in with my sponge Alright, next I'm going to take my concealer and this is the Tarte, you guys. I have been loving this concealer. It dries down matte and I don't get any creasing from it. Like there's only like I would say maybe one to three concealers that I like are my absolute favorite. If you guys do want a video on those, definitely let me know down below. Alright, so I'm just setting my, um, actually I'm not setting my contour, but I use the Rihanna stick for my contour, y'all. This has been like my everyday contour. I think I want to try one more, well, one or two different sticks. Like, I am in love with a good cream contour, you guys. Like, it is the best, in my opinion. Like, on my natural days, I still use a cream contour. I'm going to always set it with a powder, but that's just my preference. And I'm just buffing that out with the same sponge. 
Alright, so I'm setting my under eye well pretty much everywhere where I've applied concealer and I am adding um, the Laura Mercier underneath the eyes as well as on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. Um, I don't hide it on my forehead because that is like one of my sensitive breakout prone areas that I have on my face. Like I don't know what's going on with that forehead but I try to add as less product as possible. Alright you guys, so next I'm going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette and this is in the darkest one. You guys this, love this to death. Make sure you guys go check it out. Y'all, I finally went into Walmart and they actually had them stocked up, which is super surprising. Alright you guys, so next I'm going to apply my face powder and this is the Makeup Forever powder. It's I believe their Pro Finish and this is like my everyday, any foundation that I use, I'm always going to set it with this. Um, it does not make me break out. It, I'm really funny and I have a very hard time with finding powders since I have a more cooler undertone. And a lot of powders tend to make me red or warm. So next I'm going to apply this gorgeous highlight from NARS. I'll leave the link down below. Like this brush you guys is freaking everything. It's from Crown Brush. I'm definitely going to pick up a few more because I love it. And it packs on the highlight and hits every point the way I need it to hit. Alright you guys, so I'm going to put my final thoughts on this foundation down below. Um, overall, honestly, this foundation surprised the hell out of me. Um, overall, I love the finish. It looks really, really good on camera. It looks good when you take pictures. And it actually really, really stays matte. I wore it for a few hours before I did decide to take it off and it was beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys try this foundation out, let me know down below. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all later.